Weekend looking pretty good for that Washington County Fair. Temperature should be around 80 degrees at peak. You know, we're just talking about an hour or two here and there. And even Sunday might not even get there. Most of the days will be in the 70s, so pretty comfortable stuff. Tad bit humid, uh, but we'll have a fair amount of cloud cover as well. So we're not going to be out there baking. Only thing I want baked is those pies in the pie eating contest. 81 degrees tomorrow. Uh, clouds and fog both mornings. I think we'll get a little bit of burn off from that and some sun in the afternoons. Maybe the cloudiness a little bit stingier on Sunday. Oh yeah, in between here in Providence, we've got water fire tomorrow and it's looking pretty good. Partly cloudy skies in the evening sunsets. Those clouds will start building as you can see as we get towards midnight and the end of the event here. Clouds uh, thickening up temperatures low to mid 70s to start and uh, falling into the 60s. And even when we do get the sun during the day, it's going to be very hazy. Similar to what we had out there today where it almost looked cloudy at times. But there is some relief, I guess you could call it that, in sight here as we head through the weekend. The thick, thickest part of that plume should start to kind of move offshore tomorrow. We get one last resurgence of it kind of backing in here because of the outflow winds of Ernesto sort of keeping that in. But we have that front that's eventually going to become a more progressive wind and blow that on out of here. 77 degrees at the beach tomorrow. High risk of rip currents in the uh, advance of Ernesto is going to be pushing all those waves towards us. As you can see here, four to seven foot waves in the ocean, one to two on the bay, noon for your low tide, six to seven a.m. and p.m. for the high tide. And watch for some patchy fog in the morning. That could certainly limit visibility for the boaters out there. As we look at the rip current forecast again, it's going to be moderate to high. This is the official uh, Boston National Weather Service forecast. I would just plan for high rip currents across the board. You are going to have those big ocean swells. South beaches get the worst of it tomorrow. Eastern beaches will get the worst of it on Sunday as the storm really is going to be picking up speed at that point and moving away. 90 mile per hour sustained winds. Great news that we did see Ernesto drop down to a category one as of this evening. Uh, evening's updates is moving north northeast at 13 miles an hour, but unfortunately heading right for Bermuda. And I mean, I, you could argue that the worst of it is over it right now. The eye is going to pass right over the island or just maybe, you know, a few miles offshore. Very, very close. It's a very tiny island. Again, made to withstand events like this better than most. So uh, we have that going. But again, 80 mile per hour sustained winds and gusts upwards of 100 miles per hour. There goes the storm racing away. Again, we'll see and uh, well, we won't see, but we'll feel well, we'll see and feel uh, the effects of Ernesto as we head through the weekend at the beaches. As we look at future cast again, clouding up tomorrow morning, we'll get a little bit of sun in the afternoon and then we'll do it again as we head on into Sunday, that front or set of fronts is going to be slowly creeping towards us, but any rain should hold off till Sunday night. There is Ernesto passing away and then yeah, we'll get that first front moving in Sunday night. Warm front brings us showers and thunderstorms into Monday morning. We'll then get between the two fronts and eventually Monday night into Tuesday. We're going to get the cold front that moves through and then we should have a much nicer second half of the work week. It is going to be cooler. Look at our temperature outlook here. See all those blue colors, especially down towards the central portion of the eastern third of the country. We're sort of lumped in on that. Maybe not as much so as say down towards Philly, D.C., parts of Virginia, but it is going to be noticeably cooler as we head into next week at times, especially felt in the overnight. Look at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 50s for your overnight lows. Really nice sleeping weather and beautiful 70s throughout the day. Again, the sun is back by Wednesday. A very, very nice rest of the week.